my MVP family, my powerful, powerful MVP family, my supporters, my prayer warriors, my um, my, I don't know what to call you guys to make it possible for me to laugh out loudly sometimes. My powerful contributors to the Blessing Soup Kitchen. Tonight, I lift up a thankful heart to each and every one of you. Each, each and every one of you. And I'm just, I, I keep thinking of the words Jehovah Jireh. And I'm the story of Abraham and his son, his only son that he loved so much, Isaac. And how when Abraham took him up to sacrifice him, that how God came up and he told him, don't put your hand on that boy. He says, I know that you feareth me. And therefore, therefore, I will prosper you. So I just feel compelled, guys. Uh, just be patient with me. Because at the end of my voice, you will see where we have reached with the Blessing Soup Kitchen. And I will share with you some, 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 some other information. So bear with me as we go back to Abraham and Isaac. And I'm reading to you from Genesis 22. And I'm starting at verse 2. And let me start at verse 1 so it connects well. It says that it came to pass after these things. These were things where Abraham was walking through. He's going from place to place. He went to Beersheba um, and, and different places. And as he traveled with his ass, um, as he went on and on, and traveled through the Palestine's land for many days, it says that it came to pass, after all of that that happened, that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and Clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife. And they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, here I am, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. An angel of the Lord called unto him 
out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I, here am I. And he said, lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou in this thing unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thine son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, and behind him, a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham named of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abram out of heaven the second time. And he said, By myself have I sworn, said the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sun which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. My people, my what we have done with this blessing soup kitchen is nothing compared to what Abraham did. But I wanted to highlight the point where he says, the Lord will provide. When we started out, when I had the idea we started out, I didn't know the situation. I never thought that we would have been at this point today. I just knew that Bev Brown in her videos, she always talked about, she always spoke about the needs of her, the people in her community. The needs and what she was doing. She wasn't working, she didn't have much. But what she was doing was to share the little that she had which God has blessed and multiplied. And she made sure that she reached out to those whom she could have reached out to. And when I saw that, I, the thought came to me that I could do something else. I could support her. And that support became not only feeding people, but took me to her space where, before I even went there, I, I decided that, you know what, seeing on IHS Ministries' website that she was in need of a bathroom, and I thought, I said, my God, I didn't know she had this great need. But when I spoke to her, she told me, and she, she, she said, Miss Bev, yes, and, and, you know, she showed me the video in her space. She sent it to me. And I, I didn't put her down. I didn't say, wait a minute, you know, upon TV, I show this and that. And, and yet, you know, I immediately reached out to her and said, listen, we're going to get this thing done. We started with a tank and we got the materials and we got people on board. I said, let me do a GoFundMe. And I asked for 2,500 people. I didn't ask for 20,000, I didn't ask for 15,000 or even 5,000. I know we spent over 5,000, but I didn't even ask for that because in my heart I knew I was going to do my part. And I knew if I got people to donate 2,500, then we would have been able to do great things. Tonight I will say to us guys that this little soup kitchen so far, <laughs> this little soup kitchen so far with workmanship and Buying the, the, the materials we need. We still need some materials, some cement. We still need to pay 
people to get more work done. The roof is, you're going to see the video, what has been done today. So we need to pay for that. I received um, some monies on, I think Friday it was posted. It didn't even reach my account as yet because that's how GoFundMe works. It's like the monies go in, but they take a little while in the, for, before they transfer to my account. And when they transfer it, then it takes up to five days for it to really show up in the account. So it's a process, guys. But you know what? We're patient. We're happy because you know what? We have been blessed. We have been blessed. And on the GoFundMe, for all of you, the GoFundMe link, I posted so you can always go there and check. There are people who are donating now anonymous and they don't want me to say their names. But you know what? Blessings are blessings. And they come in different forms, different shapes. And so you will see on the GoFundMe that we have we have um people have donated one thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars on the on the app, right? But in total what we have collected so far is two thousand three hundred and thirty seven dollars. Um those all donations for the soup kitchen. No, sorry. Let me take that back because I forgot to add in that one person in Jamaica who donated. So roughly 70000 so that would work out to about $500 um, US dollars. So when we add all of that, we have collected $2,837 for the Blessing Soup Kitchen, right? So Bev Brown is going to send me a total of everything that was purchased for the 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 the, the sand the this um the sand the stone the building blocks the the bathroom things the toilet bowl face basin um all of the things that were purchased in total that she received um so she's gonna add up all the receipts for me so we'll see how much total in total we have spent then now we have um the payment for 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 Dwayne for for the foundation that had to be dug out then we had to do the foundation again because rain came and washed it all back in but for the people who work for the tying of the steel for all of those things that had gotten done some of it Bev Brown might not have a receipt because she paid them in cash um but we know that for the material, we will have receipts for those materials that were bought. So people listen to me. God is a good God. And some of us are looking for huge doors to be opened. But let's be grateful for the little doors that opened or even a window that he pushed open and poured out some blessings on us because it all adds up. And when we use his blessings in a positive way, when we build on what he gives to us, we will see that it turns out to be huge. It turns out to be huge because that's what he wants from us. That when he blesses us, we don't just sit there and nurse the little blessing. That we get up and we make sure that this blessing we become multiplied. So I'm grateful tonight, guys. I'm going to show you today they put the zinc on. They put the, the, the guy came in and you know we have to pay that 28000 just for the roof to, to do whatever they did there. They would get the zinc and put everything on. So now the, the flooring will get done and the rendering. Well, we already paid for the rendering, but we still have to pay for the flooring to get the floor part done. And then the guy will come back and do the door, do the window, and hopefully he will do the counter. I wanted him to do a cement wanted doing to do like a cement top cement counter but he said didn't understand how to do it but hopefully somebody will guide and we'll get that done i didn't want the wood because the wood is just gonna rotten real quickly so if we get it cemented and then we'll cover it with the lilonium that should be able to wipe clean often it will be beautiful and it will last a long long time so my people the next voice you hear is going to be that of, it won't be voices, it will just men <laughs> hammering nails. And then another thing too, guys, Um, today 
when um so today when they came to do the sink we had bought a ten foot sheet of sink but when they came today they had to buy four more sheets of sink so again you know what it's done and the roof ceiling is the roof is done and we hope that he'll put in the, this the ceiling today the salitex whatever they call it in jamaica salitex but it's just that thing to to prevent all the heat to come down from the zinc inside the space so god to be praised people continue to pray and lift us up for those of you we have one person apart from the person in jamaica who donated the five we have one person who donated 562 dollars from the uk and we want to bless her up and her family i mean that's just a one person but the family donated much more than that with the family with the mom along with her they donated a good chunk should have could probably be 800 but everything added up people that those monies that um came from people who handed me cash um it's added in there one person gave 250 um one person gave 50 another person gave 50 two people gave 40 the nurse and my principal gave 100 each all of that added in and so we give god the glory so today i'm just i'm just excited to see that we have got the roof on the space and now it's really coming to come and hopefully we'll get it done soon not much left guys we've come a long way started out with the shock for me was the gully and all the material we had to use to build up that space to come on a level so that no you know but god is good and i didn't give up then i i continued to search forward and we we collected the funds and we collected the support um mrs dawkins she donated a door and a window for the bathroom and we give god the glory for all donations for all prayers all of you who believe in miss bev and who appreciate miss bev all of you who who stood there with me and by me and and supported and continued to support i said thank you thank you thank you i might not be an eloquent speaker sometimes my grammar might not be perfect but you know what i feel good to have you guys who don't look at those things and 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 use that against me but just to appreciate the work we get done together as a team and that's what's important I don't care how eloquent we are. There comes a time when you get excited and yeah, you might leave an S off a word <laughs> or you might add an S where it didn't belong. But in your excitement and in your, in your effort for goodness and to get positives and good things done, those things do not really matter. Um, so again, thanks to every one of you. Thank you, thank you. Let us continue to lift our eyes unto the hills from which cometh our help because it's him who puts it in you guys to support the idea and that we are now looking at it as it comes. You know, it, it, it come, it's coming to come. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And this time, next thing you hear is going to be the pounding of nails and the sound of the sink blessings my people go forth in goodness and love go forth and do good lift up don't pull down just encourage and support let us guide let us let us just do good it's a good good thing